Are you looking to level up your cloud skills but not too sure where to start? Well, three years ago, I had the exact same problem. I had just landed my internship at AWS and was a complete beginner to the cloud. At the time, I saw that there were so many courses and platforms to choose from, and since then, the amount of resources has only grown exponentially. I still remember my very first cloud course. It was Stefan Merrick's AWS Cloud Practitioner course on Udemy, and I used it to prepare for my AWS Cloud Practitioner certification exam. Thankfully, the course was exactly what I needed, and I was able to pass the exam in three weeks. After obtaining the AWS Cloud Practitioner certification, I ended up getting four more certifications, all with the help of video courses and practice exams from Udemy. I honestly could go on and on about how much the courses have helped me build my technical skills, but in this video, I want to share with you the top five beginner-friendly Udemy courses I recommend for learning AWS Cloud. These courses have been carefully selected not only based on the user reviews, but also my personal experience of using them. One more thing before we get started, Udemy is currently running a special promotion for their courses, so make sure you take a look at the links in the description below to redeem a discount. Alright, so if I were to go back and learn AWS Cloud from scratch, here are the three types of courses I would invest in. The first one is a Cloud Computing Fundamentals course, because when you're first starting out, it's important to understand the basics of the cloud and figure out if it's something you actually want to commit to learning. The second type is an AWS certification exam course. These video courses will teach you exactly what you need to know to pass an AWS certification exam. They typically come with a bunch of lessons as well as hands-on labs for you to practice using AWS services. And the third type of course is AWS practice exams. This will get you comfortable with answering the types of questions that may come up in the AWS certification exam. It will also give you a chance to learn from any mistakes you make so that you avoid them in the future. Now, once you complete those three types of courses, you will have the knowledge needed to become AWS certified and build your own cloud projects. So starting off with the first type of course, I would recommend this Introduction to Cloud Computing on AWS for Beginners course created by Neil Davis. This course is rated 4.7 out of 5 stars, covers the fundamental concepts of cloud computing and is designed for absolute beginners. It's 7 hours long and by the end of the course, you'll gain an understanding of fundamental cloud concepts like compute, networking and storage. For example, in this AWS storage services section, you'll learn how to work with EBS volumes, Amazon EFS, as well as Amazon S3. But yeah, overall this course is great for people who are complete beginners to AWS and want to gain a solid foundational understanding of AWS Cloud. I've taken a few of Neil's courses before and he's an excellent instructor who explains technical concepts in a very clear and concise way. I'll leave a link to the course in the description below and if you end up trying it out, please let me know how it goes. By the way, one piece of advice I have for buying Udemy courses is to double check when the course was last updated. For example, at the time of recording the video, this course was last updated in May of 2023, which is quite recent. I've also come across some courses though that have not been updated since 2018 or 2019. So those ones are probably not going to teach you the most up-to-date AWS services and features. Another course I'd recommend for learning AWS fundamentals is this Learn Cloud Computing with AWS in a Weekend course created by In28 Minutes. It's rated 4.7 stars on Udemy and is around 7 hours long, making it the perfect course for learning AWS in just a weekend. If we take a look at the video chapters, you can see that the course starts off with an introduction of the basic concepts and services of AWS, for example Amazon EC2, and then it progresses into other topics like security and DevOps. For this course, you don't need to have any prior experience or knowledge of the cloud because the course will cover everything from the fundamentals. Before you buy any Udemy course, you can typically preview a few of the course chapters, so that's something I would recommend doing beforehand. I also wanted to mention that the instructor for this course also has courses on Azure and GCP, which I feel like is quite rare because instructors would normally stick to teaching one cloud. So if you're looking to learn multiple clouds and you want to stick to one instructor, it might be good to look into his courses. Okay, moving on to AWS certifications, the best instructor on Udemy to help you get AWS certified is Stefan Marek. Stefan has nearly 2 million students on the platform now and his courses have honestly helped me so much on my own cloud learning journey. You can see that I've purchased 6 of his courses and for each of them I had left a 5 star rating. The reason I'm such a big fan of Stefan's courses is because of his teaching style. He's able to help complete beginners go from having zero knowledge of AWS to passing an AWS certification exam in just a matter of weeks. I also like how he always keeps his courses up to date, which is quite important because AWS is always making new changes and updates to their exams. I actually bought this course back in August 2020, but what's cool about Udemy courses is that you get lifetime access to the course, which includes all the updates. So for example, this AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner course over here is fully updated for 2023. 
One question I get asked all the time is which AWS certifications should I start with and in what order should I do those certifications? I shared this AWS certification roadmap in a previous video, but this is the order I would recommend. So starting off with the AWS Cloud Practitioner exam and then progressing to associate, professional and specialty ones. Some people prefer to go straight to the Solutions Architect Associate Certification, which is okay as well. But the AWS Cloud Practitioner Certification is definitely a lot easier and more beginner friendly. I'll leave links to Stefan's Udemy AWS Certification courses in the description below. And as always, I'd love to hear what you think of them. Another AWS Certification exam course I'd like to recommend is this Zero to Mastery AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner course. This course is quite new, but has already gotten so much positive feedback in the cloud community. I've tried it out myself and Amber, the instructor for the course, does a really good job at explaining things in a very easy to understand way. What I noticed is that for the concepts that beginners might find challenging, Amber simplifies it through interesting analogies and hands-on labs. Some of the course chapters include cloud fundamentals, security and compliance, as well as billing and pricing. Similar to the other courses I've mentioned, this one is also highly rated and comes with a lot of hands-on exercises. But what makes this course unique is that once you enroll, you get access to a Discord community of over 400,000 Zero to Mastery students. So if you're someone who prefers learning alongside other people, this could be a great course for you. Last but not least, we have John Bonzo's AWS Certification Practice Exams. John runs a company called Tutorials Dojo, and in my opinion, he has the best practice exams on Udemy to help you get AWS certified. So I personally have used his resources to prepare for my AWS certification exams, and I found them very helpful in helping me identify any gaps I had in my knowledge of AWS. The practice exams are very similar in difficulty to the actual AWS exams, and they're designed to simulate the format you'd expect on the day of your exam. Each question comes with very detailed explanations and references to AWS documentation, which helps you understand the reasoning behind each correct answer. Okay, so those are the top five Udemy courses I'd recommend for learning AWS Cloud. All the courses I mentioned are linked in the description below. And if you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to the channel for more videos like this. All right, bye for now.